Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good. So if you remember my very first Halloween video, I think it was a whole week ago, Saturday? Yeah, we made these silicon inlays. So in this video, we're actually going to be trying some of them out and using them in a spooky way. I'm still, still working out what I'm going to do. But yeah, it'll be fun. Let's go. The one thing I needed to make sure is that whichever mold I used would be deep enough to hold some of the inlays I made. Some of the inlays are quite deep, so my brain automatically went to one of my favourite mould combos, probably of 2022, and this is the Moulds and Shapes, the Royal Coaster Mould and the Tea Light Candle Mould. Absolutely gorgeous together now you can buy them separately or as a bundle on the molds and shapes website so i will of course link that below with your five percent discount now here is where i had to kind of look through my inlays to see which ones i poured deep which ones i poured shallower and just work out which ones would work in the coaster mold without protruding through the top so that when it comes to taking them out we're still going to have enough jesmonite there to make it solid and not worrying about holes and things like that creeping in that was all it was and then I decided to actually incorporate two of the wings as well I thought it'd be a really cool kind of gothic motorcycle you know hell's angel harley davidson skull and wings to add them on there but of course i'm thinking i'm also thinking kind of gothic halloween i'm not necessarily thinking motorbikes you know what i mean but it's a really nice combo and really it's so straightforward the molds and shapes molds are super squishy silicon now whichever silicon you then place on them as an inlay will cling to it they will cling and they're really the suction is amazing so it was just a case of playing around with the way i wanted it to look i didn't know if i wanted the wings to be high up or low down but eventually i did make a decision and actually place them in now you can see me using a sieve here the reason i decided to use a sieve here is really because i made so much jesmonite this set does take a lot of jesmonite but they are worth it because they are chunky and gorgeous and luxurious in their way so i did make a ton of jesmonite and yeah i was very conscious that because i made so much i've got a lot of chunks in there and it's not ideal i didn't use an electric mixer i just used a hand mixer so i figured you know i don't usually use my sieve anymore because it can't be bothered with the cleanup <laughs> i decided to pour it in through the sieve just to cover the bottom of that royal coaster mold and then i filled it up because i don't care if there's chunks in the middle <laughs> no one's ever gonna know no one's ever gonna see them so yeah i just used my sieve to cover the base layer of that royal coaster mold making sure that i didn't get any powdery white clumps in the black but as it happens they both came out absolutely stunning this tea light holder is probably one of my favorite candle molds i've ever used it is chunky and just lugs i know i say luxurious a lot in this video but this is a really really chunky oh it's so tactile and gorgeous to hold and smooth that as a combo with this royal coaster mold they work so well together so again on demold this is about 30 minutes later demold worked a dream always does with molds and shapes molds and then it was just a few seconds to just trim off some of that excess because you know me i sometimes pour a little bit too much and it kind of creeps over the edges and then to peel back the inlays this is my favorite part the wings turned out stunning absolutely stunning i love the result however the skull my brain didn't think about this prior it didn't really work for me it's not doing it for me this these inlays the face inlays really will work best with the polyurethane and cling film technique to be honest they really are designed for that i think the crosses and the wings work perfectly fine in the um in this kind of design but 
the skulls and the faces no it was obviously the opposite so I'm getting I'm getting the opposite of the face that I really wanted of course I didn't think about this before doing it but that's what we're all here for to learn together I decided to fill it up I was not happy and I'm actually going to pour some purple skulls now to tie this in together purple and black are two of the most beautiful colors together you know that kind of halloweeny gothic they go well together anyway but this time of year they are particularly gorgeous together so i decided fill the hole didn't like it and then create a jesmonite skull to place over that hole and i think it works really really well i am using purple by mrs colorberry um she sent me some colors a very long time ago and haven't used them for a while so i'm using her beautiful range of colors that is the purple so here we are on the flower pot now if any of you remember I actually used this mold combo a while back when I was using the ammonites. I did a similar thing here with the ammonite mold and I placed the pot down onto the ammonite mold to get that ammonite to stick to the pot. Well, I'm doing exactly the same thing here. I've rested my pot down on top of a purple skull and I've brought the sides up and over. We need that to be rounded. You can't just make a mold of a skull and then stick it on a rounded surface it won't work because the skull is going to be flat so I really need it to be rounded that is why I placed the candle mold down onto the mold and wrapped the mold up around the candle holder if I'm hoping I'm sure that makes sense but this is one of the questions I had before can't you just make a mold and then stick it on after you can't because that's going to be flat bottom against a curved surface it just won't work so I mixed up the teeniest amount of jessamine. I added my black pigment to create a glue and I'm now going to use that as a glue to stick down on here and it's so much better already. I have to say I'm not necessarily I'm not necessarily inspired by the pot. I think the skull is potentially just too big for the size of the pot it protrudes out quite a way having said that I I like it for its own artistic kind of thing you know what I mean it still works and I know that there's still going to be people out there thinking that this is the coolest pot with a skull on the side so it does work but for me I feel like the smaller skull could have gone on the pot but of course it couldn't because I needed to fill the mold up in order for the pot to touch it the only alternative would be to really chop your mold up and slice the mold down to make a much shallower mold um so yeah anyway moving back to the video you can see me here there was so much spillage of course i've rested a really chunky heavy pot down onto a soft silicon mold so it's gonna have pushed the jesmonite out and that's just basically all bled out around the skull but very similar to the ammonite mold we know that we can just chip away at it and get it all off so I'm using my craft blade <laughs> not ideal because this is just gonna blunt my blade but it works as long as it the thing is if you don't know me if you're new here if it works it works I don't care how we get there as long as it works okay so I then sanded it down, I took it into my bucket of water and I sanded it back with a 2000 grit wet dry sandpaper to make it completely smooth around the skull on the pot and that that is job done, that is job done. We have a really gorgeous simple block colour gothic candle holder and royal coaster tray, I love them, I really really do like them let me know if you think that skull on the pot is just a tad too big should it have been the other way around i should have done the smaller skull on the pot etc i don't know i think i do believe they're the same mold but i believe the pot was so heavy it kind of crushed it kind of crushed the silicon mold so it flattened the skull a bit it flattened the head um but that's fine it, it works they are they are both the same skulls but one got crushed is basically what i'm saying so you can finish this off with twine or string however you want to but i thought a piece of black ribbon would really tie it in nicely together and just add to the gothic experience of it all i am sealing this now i am sealing this purely because if i choose or whoever this goes to chooses to keep the candle pot holder on the tray 
there is a risk that over time it will wear and tear and scratch the surface of this piece that I'm holding in my hand because whilst jesmonite is a super tough material you know placing a candle pot on there also made of jesmonite it is highly likely 99.9% .9 sure it will end up scratching it and just devaluing the surface of it so I am using the jesmonite acrylic sealer Again, I am aware this has been discontinued, unfortunately, but for me, this is a really scratch proof resistant um, sealer. It's the only sealer that I've really found so far that is really, really solid and scratch proof. Having said that, I've still not run a test on the Elechem sealer and the Resin 8 sealer. So that is something I really need to do. I need to knuckle down and test all of the sealers for their heat proof nature and their scratch proof nature. But I am loving this combo. I think they are just screaming gothic, Halloween, witchy vibes right up my street. I'm loving the fact that the inlays worked, the wing inlays and maybe the cross inlays definitely work better with this kind of project. Faces and skulls, it's not going to work. You're basically going to get the opposite of what you need. So you are better off using your skull inlays in epoxy resin, for example, using the polyurethane technique. If you really want that 3D skull, otherwise something like this, you're going to get it. It's like inverted you know what I mean because you saw the video I don't need to <laughs> I don't want to try and explain too much but I hope you've really enjoyed this one I hope you feel inspired to crack on and use your silicon inlays if you haven't already go check that video out and get them made for future projects but yeah I'm really loving the combo all of the details will be in the description box below if you would like to get your hands on this mold either the coaster mold or the candle mold or you can buy them as a bundle from the molds and shapes website really love them perfect thank you so so much if you are still here we're nearly 12 minutes in i really appreciate your time do not forget to hit that thumbs up and give me a subscribe i'm so close to 70k like i said in the last video i will be doing a giveaway at 70k so yeah help a girl out share my videos bring your friends on board if you think this might be their cup of tea i appreciate you all so much and i will see you all in the next video bye